Tuba Tubas. Oh, you Tubas. Berg here on Sunday evening. Got a couple of packages open. First, I want to show you I got my butane. Finally got me some butane where I could get my lighters going. Mike Ross sent me some lighters. Really want to thank him for these beautiful, beautiful lighters. I got my Dism lighter going, and I'll do a review on these lighters later. But uh, when you're using butane, the uh, Zippo is the best. The other, what is that other called, Rhonda, the butane? Uh, Ronson. They say to gum up your, your lighters. So uh, get the old Zippo. Made in America. Look on to it. Just wanted to get that out. Bought some backy. We'll do a little package opening here right quick, and then we'll get on. I'm going to do a first impression of the uh, eight state Burley, and I'll do a re good review later, but I'm going to do a first impression on it this evening. Uh, somebody hit me up and said that... Uh, Smoking pipes, where did I get that? Where did I get this to back at, Rhonda? Rhonda. Pipes. Smoking pipes, yeah. And said that Sam Gallus had dropped. So I got me a couple of tins of the Full Virginia Flake. You can never have two merch of the Full Virginia Flake by Sam Gallus. I got a lot in the cellar. Uh, LaDon Mott sent me uh, a good-sized jar of 10-year-old Full Virginia Flake. And, man, you're talking about some... Fantastic tobacco. I said, you know what? I got to put me some up because I'll be an old man one day and and be thankful that I listened to him and and put me some uh, put me some good backy up. But any words? Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this uh, case for my pipes and whatnot that I carry to uh, pipe shows and pipe meetups and whatever. And, a gift from my good buddy Mike Ross, but my lighter fits in there, good and snug where it won't come out and go to falling around everywhere. And you got a pouch for some backy, and you got you enough room for three pipes. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. But uh, it's the fourth generation. Uh, Eric Stoke could be tobacconist. And uh, I don't know if you can still get this even. Let me turn on the light here. Hang on. Let's get a light set up on this. Uh, fourth generation, black, three pipe combination. Uh, that's the number that you can look up. And uh, I don't know what colors you can get, but Kenzo Black, three pipe, zip pouch, made in India. And that's the number, but... Check it out. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. And it's just really, 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 really comes in handy for me going around to uh, different things. Uh, whether it be uh, fishing or going to a pipe shop or whatever I might be doing. It's good to have three pipes and some tobacco and your favorite tobacco and whatnot. But any words on on with the show. Uh got this uh tobaccopipes.com coming in stock with some uh eight state burley flake and I picked up a couple tins. I wanted to get a tin for my good buddy uh Clayton Orr Jr. He's always a good man to go to. For me, he's he knows so much about tobaccos and pipes and I forget so much, and he keeps me on track. He's a great friend, and he told me about the uh, the fluid to use the Zippo and not the Ronson. The Ronson will ruin your your lighters and whatnot. But this eight state Burley from Cornell and Dill small batch, kind of hard to get. Uh, comes in a two ounce tin here. Got your date on there. We're gonna see what the tin note is like here. Oh, look on to this. Now, this is made into flakes, I think, and then chopped up. Look at this tobacco. Oh, my, folks. 
I'm trying to get back to my old uh, reviews and first impressions on tobacco and really show people this tobacco. A lot of people do a review and they just won't show you that tobacco. Look on to it, folks. That's some good looking red Virginias in there and some white Burleys and looks like a little cabin dish off into it. And this thing's got everything but the kitchen sink in it. I'm going to read a little bit of this from Cornell and Deal, uh, honoring historic U.S. Burley growing regions. Cornell and Deal, small batch, eight state Burley showcases the uh, often overlooked nuance of uh, complexity of air cured leaf. And uh, around here, and we're in the tobacco belt in Tennessee, the uh, barley is air cured here. And uh, I think it's kind of a white, what they call a white barley. But anyway, uh, matured and blended, uh, matured blend of 2015 white and 2014 dark barley's offering a mellow, creamy nuttiness as well as a subtle, subtle Soft cocoa flavor to the palate, and that's the kind of that's the kind of burley I like. Some people are saying this has got a vanilla topping on it. I ain't done a ten note yet. We'll do it in a minute. But any words, uh, mellow, creamy nuttiness as well as subtle soft co uh, cocoa flavor on the palate. Top tier Canadian brights and SM two dash one eight Red Virginias, the same grade as in last year's run of Carolina Red Flake and Carolina of Carolina Red Flake and Carolina Red Flake with Perique. Compliment com, compliment those distinctive flavors with layers of sweetness, tang, and bready spices. Spices finally the Oriental tobacco, well aged 16 year old. Uh, further contribute to the complexity of this unique burly mixture, a blend of rare I say that Socom? Yeah, Socom. Socom and Samson and Katrina Sun Cured Leaf from 2005 add a, a lightly floral, oily, spicy, and tart flavor. Their sweetness having, depe uh, having depended and, uh, deepened and their sour notes having matured with age. Press sliced and... Uh, Press, sliced, and tumbled into an old-fashioned chop block or ready rub cut for an elegant balance of easy preparation and optimized aging potential. Okay. It goes on there with a lot more, but that gives you an idea of what this tobacco is. And for, ooh, wee. For 10 note, right off the right off the bat, I get chocolate. I get lots of chocolate. To me, it's sweet like a chocolate-covered cherry. That's just the way I smell it. People say it's got a vanilla topping, and I'm not getting a lot of vanilla, but I swear, to me, it smells just like a, a, a chocolate-covered cherry. That's what I get when I smell that. Maybe a little nuttiness. But a real good chocolate note on the tin note is what I'm going to say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke this, and uh, uh, this is gonna be my first smoke in my uh, newly purchased Savinelli, the Friday Savinelli. We're gonna six three uh, six seven three Lucite Roma Lucite stem, the uh, matches uh, matches. I guess it was his one of his favorite pipes, but I just got this one and watched the video on that. We're going to pack a little backy in here, and uh, I'm going to do a quick first impression of a bowl of this. And I'm not going to pack a real big bowl, because i got to go to work, folks. And I just wanted to get this video done and out before Sunday was over, and maybe some folks could enjoy it. We're going to light it up with the little lighter here.
Mm. Mm. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what people are talking about, a uh, overpowering vanilla. Like it was, I do the, I do the BJ Longs. Uh, I always seem to do me good. But uh, let me pause it a minute. I'll be right back. Miss Rhonda says it's got a great room note. Uh, staying lit and really burly Orientals, uh, Turkish Orientals, and uh, Virginias. Chocolatey, nutty, sweet. To me, a little bit of vanilla, but nothing overpowering. I'm going to tell you, I've heard a little about a lot of bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chooch on this a little bit more, and I'll be back, and we'll talk about it some more. Room note, Miss Rhonda said it tastes, smelt like, kind of like bubble gum. <laughs> Still chooching right along, earthy, cocoa. Earthy, nutty, chocolatey. I've read some of the reviews and people said they get some sour notes from the Orientals. I'm not getting that right now. Uh, just a a good burly. I was I was really upset when I heard that. Uh, some people talking about it was goopy. This tobacco is not goopy. If it's got any topping on it, it's very little. This is not, this won't even stick together. This is dry tobacco, moist, but but not goopy like uh, I was hearing people say. Not overpowering with vanilla. I don't know. I'm not getting that, folks. I'm really liking it. I'm going to continue smoking. I'll be back. The further I've got down the bow. It's, uh, I'm getting a little bit of the floral from the, uh, mm. <coughs> from the Orientals. But that, uh, that cocoa, chocolate, I want to say chocolate. I don't know if cocoa and chocolate, cocoa to me is a little bitter, but chocolate's a little sweeter, creamy. Nutty, earthy, a little floral coming in on the retro hill. Really, really a, a really good smoke. Be back, folks. I'm going to enjoy this a little bit longer. Folks, my first impression of this is fantastic blend. I, I really like it. I'll be trying to get me some more. It is a, just a, the, the, Burleys are just really nutty, chocolatey, earthy. I would say cocoa, but I say chocolatey, sweet chocolate. The Orientals are in the background. Uh, I'm getting floral, a little floral off uh, the Orientals on a retro hill. And the uh, Virginias are sweet. A little bit of tanginess, uh, just really solid Virginias. I, I'm a Virginia man, and really tangy and tart Virginias, and mm, creamy burleys, and chocolatey and cocoa. Just uh, not a lot of vanilla, a sweetness there, but I don't know where people's getting the vanilla. 
they give this blend a hard time. Looks like it's burning to a fine white ash. Beautiful blend. I think it's a home run. It's a wonder it's all gone every time it comes out. Got to be something good about it. I wish I'd have got more than two tens. But any words, if you say that's goopy, I beg to differ. I'm squeezing it, pinching it. It's just not goopy, folks. Mighty good. If it's got a coating on it, I can't detect it. I can't detect it. Uh, if it's got something on it, it, it may be. I don't know, but I don't taste anything but good tobaccos, good Virginias and Orientals and Burleys. Fine blend, a home run. I'm going to give uh, my partner... Uh, Clayton or 10 of it, and I, I can't wait till he tries it and uh, gives his opinion. I'm on Vargas is my first impression. I'll do a better review of this later maybe, but that's my first impressions. No tongue bite, just a, a solid blend. Really happy I got some of it. I'm on Berg. Hope you enjoyed this video. I got all kinds of videos coming out, folks metal detecting, going to flea markets, going to uh, antique stores, and uh, metal detecting, fishing. I'm going to be getting out, folks. This uh, this COVID's not going to keep me in anymore. I'm going to make videos. And if you don't want to watch the ones that are not tobacco-related, I don't blame you. Uh, but there will be videos out. You can watch them if you want to. But I'm going to videotape this about everything I'm doing. I'm Oberg, and I'm back out on the prowl. Lots of videos. I'm going to try to do some quality videos. I've been doing some shaky ones. I apologize, but I'm going to get back in and get some good equipment. I hope I make y'all happy and you'll watch my videos. I'm Oberg. Love y'all. Peace. Eight Steak Burley. I'm going to give it a solid nine out of ten. And I am out.